What's up YouTube? This is Shuttle Boy and I'm back with yet another video. Today's video, we got quite a bit of pickups in today, so let's get right into it, guys. All right, so before we get into these pickups here, I have a quick few announcements to say here. A lot has been going on with me lately and I haven't been necessarily talking about it very much uh, publicly, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know a little bit about this. And I recently just had surgery actually, um, so I am still recovering from that. Um, this is my first video I'm making since that surgery. I actually had it last week. Because I'm recovering from that, videos may not be completely as often and to schedule as they usually are. Also, I'm actually moving soon to my own apartment really soon and that's gonna take some time to get everything uh, situated and just assimilated to that situation. So bear with me guys, I'm sorry if the videos aren't completely to par as usual and as often. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time, um, but eventually, hopefully, I will get a schedule down that will keep me just as consistent as I was. Without further ado, let's get right into these pickups guys. Uh, we're going to start with some things that aren't really clothing related. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys some things that I pick up um, on the daily basically or weekly or monthly should I say. Um, I buy a lot of different things that I collect in general. Uh, it's not just sneakers and clothing. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys some of that stuff in the beginning of this video. And if you don't like it, uh, that's fine. You can skip ahead to the clothing, uh, which will be at the end here. Um, but if you guys do like it, then I might start a series uh, of videos where I just say like pickups of things that I don't typically like that aren't clothing. So if you do like this, let me know in the comments down below because I might do videos of when anything I pick up and just have like a big uh, video just full of pickups that I had in the past month or something and just show them all on the channel. So if you like that kind of stuff, you can see it. But if you don't like that kind of stuff, you can skip ahead. We're going to get into this. There's a lot of different random things. Some more context to the first two pickups here is I am moving into a new apartment. It's pretty exciting. I'm excited to do that. Um, so uh, that'll be fun and all. I really like my setup here. Um, so that's going to be kind of unfortunate. I'll have to make up a new setup there. But that aside, uh, I was buying some things to basically make my place a little bit more cooler to me. I got these two different things to put in my apartment and the first thing being which I showed on Instagram already. So follow me if you haven't already because you would have more context to this is I got some Funko Pops actually and I bought this on Amazon and man guys fire beware good thing I'm not a Funko Pop collector by any means this is only one of the first couple that I've ever got um, but look at this guys holy crap when I got it in the mail it was open too like that oh my god it was a wreck and then inside too completely damaged um, but we're gonna take these out and show you guys exactly what's going on here. Like I said, I got this for my apartment and that is the Spongebob Funko Pop uh, with Gary and then the pineapple. Now, I actually bought this because I really just wanted the pineapple and reason being is because I wanted to put this actually in my apartment as like just a little display thing to have maybe on like a coffee table or in the kitchen or on a nightstand or something. I thought it was really cool. Uh, in person, it's a pretty decent size. I wish it maybe was a little bit bigger, but I am pretty much happy with exactly how it is. Uh, this is gonna be really cool to have in my apartment. I'm planning on having a ton of cool, like just random crap like this uh, in my place. And then on top of that, uh, you did also get, as it didn't come by itself, it also came with this SpongeBob with Gary on it. And I might do something with that too. I mean, I really just got it for the pineapple, so I might as well, since this came with, do something with this too. Um, but yeah, I don't plan on keeping these in the box like most Funko Pops. Uh, other ones I would ordinarily do that. I only have like two other ones. Yeah, for these, these are more for displaying in my room, so I don't plan on doing that. And I think these came out great. They look really nice, a very nice quality material. Like it just feels really substantial. It doesn't feel cheap by any means. And I got this for around 20 bucks on Amazon, so definitely get that if you want to. Um, but expect the box to be beat to crap like it happened to me. Next pickup, this is actually a gift somebody gave to me uh, after my surgery to cheer me up basically, but uh, shout out to you. And that is the Patrick Funko Pop. Uh, actually, it was my girlfriend that got me this and I'm really excited to have this. This is a Christmas themed edition of Patrick 
and I think it's really cool. Um, I was thinking about getting this already, um, so that was really awesome to get this. Another reason, the same reason why I got those other ones is so I could have like a cool display in my place. Uh, and this one is a more Christmas theme, so I plan on bringing it out when it's Christmas time. It looks really nice in person, and you gotta love SpongeBob, guys. Maybe this will hold me over as I took the L on the SpongeBob shoes, the Squidwards, guys. I missed out on the Squidwards. Really sad about that, but... I'll move on because I had that surgery actually. Uh, I wasn't able to leave my house at all. I tried online on sneakers and I was not able to get them unfortunately. But um, eventually I'm checking those StockX prices. Hopefully they lower a little bit. Moving on to the next pickup. We got a little bit more nerdy stuff. I ended up getting a video game that I just wanted to show you guys that I got. I also ended up picking up with, along with two other things you're about to see, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I am not a Marvel fan by any means. I just started getting into it. I watched a couple movies recently uh, just for fun and I really did enjoy that. I'm not going to lie. I like the style of game. This is it's basically just kind of a beat-em-up kind of game and I really enjoy that. I just beat this game actually recently. It took me about a week's time, um, so around 10 hours uh, to beat this game and it was really fun. Uh, after you beat it, I don't know how much replay value there really is there unless you want to go super hardcore into it, but it was really fun for what it is. Being a person that doesn't even know all the characters, I still had a ton of fun. And now, going back to some of the movies I started watching now, like and now I have some connection to the characters, so it's pretty cool. And yeah, I definitely recommend this if you're interested in beat-em-up games at all. You don't even have to be interested in Marvel. If you're into superhero stuff in general, I think you might really enjoy this because I knew nothing about Marvel until I played this game and I had a blast with it. But moving on to the next pickup, I actually got these with the game earlier and man guys, I was so excited for when these came out. I was waiting and waiting and that is the Nintendo Amiibo here. Uh, just super excited to have these in my collection. I have a decent amount of Amiibos actually. Um, I might flash a picture here to show you guys everything I got. I actually have a little display uh, in my house of just a lot of my Nintendo collectible stuff. Yeah, I had to add these to the collection. The Pokemon Trainer one is just so cool, guys. I just, there's not, I don't think there's any Amiibo better than this one. Uh, I just love the concept of Amiibos just being like interactive collectible figures. Uh, it's a shame they don't do very much with them in video games, but um, yeah, I just really need... I think I'm going to collect all the Pokemon related ones. I'm not sure, but I think that's going to be my move because that's why I got Pichu. I was like, eh, it's another Pokemon one. It just came out the same time as the Pokemon trainer, so I felt like I had to, but if you're into Amiibo at all, Definitely get this one. It's without a doubt the coolest one I've ever seen. And just if you're into Pokemon in general, you just gotta get this, guys. It's red. Like, it's red, guys. The fact that they have one of red, that's awesome. And my last thing before we get into these clothing pickups is I just recently copped the Super Mario Bros. Encyclopedia. Uh, I've been waiting to get this for a while, and it is a really good book, guys. I've read a decent amount of it already, and man, it just has everything you need to know about Mario in this. For most of the games, it doesn't have Odyssey in it or anything like that. Um, I think past the Wii U games, I think it doesn't have anything after that. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool book. I think it came out before the Switch was even out. It's organized by each game too. And they have every like character from each game. It'll show every level. Um, it'll say some different secrets about each game uh, and just what made each game so unique. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying this book. Uh, I really like books like this that have a lot of like history to them of things that I really like. You got some Galaxy right there. And it even has things that reference like the Japan version versus the US version. So if you're into Mario and just like histo history of like video games and stuff, I definitely recommend this book. Uh, I believe it was $40 retail, um, but I found it on sale, I believe for like $20 or something. You can find some deals on like Amazon and stuff for it. It's been out for a while. But if you're into collecting stuff like this, I definitely recommend having this. Uh, it's just a sweet thing to say that you have uh, for your collection. All right, so with that out of the way, we have two clothing pickups that I want to show you guys. Uh, one I actually told you guys before, um, and it's basically just an update on it. Uh, the other one's a brand new pickup. So if you liked any of that nerd stuff, I might actually do a video that's like nerd pickups or something like that, uh, that you guys can check out um, whenever you want to see that stuff. But if you don't want to see it, you can just move on. 
Um, but let me know down below if you enjoyed looking at all that stuff to any degree because then maybe I'll do videos on it or maybe not. I'd love to do videos on it, but I don't think you guys really care. But maybe you do. I don't know. The first pickup is basically just an update and that is on the Vans slip-on. I got them now, guys, and I wanted to just show them and talk about them a little bit here. And man, I, I'm really enjoying these shoes. I've been wearing them a ton. As I told you, I've been wearing the checkerboards a bunch as well, uh, just because it's a quick throw on shoe that you can just slip on and you can just put on for a quick errand or something that you have to go out the house. And yeah, I had to get the navy colorway just for another change up. I really wanted a solid colorway. And man, I really like these a lot. I wore them a ton. Uh, it's just such a practical shoe. And man, when I first got these actually, I uh, walked for five miles in them. So they're already pretty beat. So uh, that's kind of a shame that I already beat them to death. I'm gonna get a ton of wear in them nonetheless. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm still, that I got them in hand, I'm really enjoying them. And I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for more cool colorways of the slip-on. I already have a decent amount of pairs, but a couple more practical ones that you can wear with everything is what I am looking for. And last but not least, I got a t-shirt pickup in and it is from New Balance. And that is the Board Man Gets Paid shirt, guys. I've been wanting to get this shirt for a long time. It keeps selling out and it's ridiculous. I don't know why, but New Balance is being really weird about this whole uh, New Balance basketball movement. And I get it's probably because they're still like gearing up to do some more with it and they just want to have a full, full force unveiling uh, of all of the New Balance stuff for next year when the season starts. But they really dropped the ball on it, but they finally restocked some of the shirts and I was able to get the Board Man Gets Paid shirt. I want to get the Fun Guy one as well, but I didn't want to go overkill with the New Balance shirts yet. Uh, just kind of want to wait here. I don't want to buy too much at one time and it does fit true to size completely I got a large I'm like six foot two inches and I got a large uh, Usually sometimes I go up on an XL, but I wear a uh, large in golf as well So if that tells you anything for Kawhi Leonard if you like Kawhi Leonard, I'm actually a huge fan of him um, I'm not gonna lie and say I've always been a huge fan of him, but I just like how he's a quiet guy that just gets stuff done. He's not a flashy guy by any means and he just works hard. And that was the whole point of the board man gets paid shirt. Uh, I just think this was a sweet design and it's gonna be something really fun to wear like under like a flannel or something too. It doesn't have to be just a t-shirt on its own. I can wear something over it too. So you can just see that script under that. It's gonna be a cool shirt to wear with a lot of stuff. And with my 990s, now I have a shirt to wear specifically with my 990s. That's pretty much gonna conclude this video, guys. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this video by any means. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it too. And please subscribe if you haven't already for more golf wang, more sneakers, more clothing, more Shuttle Boy. And this is Shuttle Boy, guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace.